I like it too, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats, dogs, and frogs, my name is Darius P, and welcome back to another MK11 combo tutorial. On this one, we rocking with the mystic variations of rain, so let's get right to it. Let's go crazy. That's what we're starting off with the one, three, three. Looks just like that. Very, very easy. Let's keep it moving. Okay, so after Let's Go Crazy, we're going to hit him with the geyser palm, the down back one. It looks just like that. And we are going to amplify it. Now, we can't just practice doing this because, as you guys can see, it doesn't hit. So, we got to practice going from the Let's Go Crazy into the geyser palm. Uppercut just to make it, you know, just to make it look beautiful. Let's look at that one more time. Just like that. Now, let's keep it moving. Okay, so after the geyser pump, as you guys just saw, we will be on the other side of our opponent. And then, okay, so when he's in the air, before we go to the deadly tsunami, which is the the uh, the 242, you're going to do a quick micro dash. I mean, it's going to be very fast, very fast before we do the deadly tsunami. So what you want to do is you want to practice like dashing forward real quick and then going into the deadly tsunami. Because when he's in the air, it's going to be, if you guys see my inputs, well, I'm going to be on this side, right? I'm going to be on this side. So it's going to look like this. It's going to be very, very fast. And we can't practice going from this, going from the geyser pump into the deadly tsunami because they won't be in the air. So we got to practice going from let's go crazy into the geyser palm and then into the deadly suit nabby but remember there's a quick dash after the geyser palm when your opponent switches sides just like that i didn't do the deadly tsunami because I, I wanted you guys to see the inputs on the side yes i am spamming that amplify button let's look at that one more time just like that. Now let's go ahead and do the deadly tsunami. Look just like that. Quick dash into the deadly tsunami. Let's look at that one more time. Okay, one more tip. Well, let's keep it moving. Okay, so I have to tell you guys this. After you do the geyser palm, if you don't dash quickly enough and input the deadly tsunami uh, quick enough, your opponent will not be high enough for you to do the geyser kick. If your opponent is not at head height when you uh when you are doing the deadly tsunami, when you are doing this, do not do the geyser kick. Why? Because it will miss. I'm um, hope hopefully I can miss it the first time. Well, okay, I actually hit. But if your opponent is too low and you try to do the geyser kick, that right there, it will miss. And if it miss, your opponent can get up and do a full combo punishment on you. So if you see your uh, opponent is like at like a hip height, at waist height. Do not do geyser kick. Just end the combo with the back forward three. That is the Argus plunge. But that isn't the combo. But I have, while I was practicing this, I saw that if my opponent is too low and I do the geyser kick, then it will I will get punished. So don't do it if your opponent is too low. This move is long enough to where you can see if your opponent is high or low. If they are low, Go ahead and just end the combo with the back forward three. And but for all of my beasts out there that will be pretty sure that their opponent is high enough, we're gonna after the deadly tsunami, we're going to the geyser kick. The back forwards uh back forward four. So let's practice going from deadly tsunami into the back the geyser kick. Looks just like that. And we am we are gonna amplify it to get that extra damage so we can continue the combo. And the opponent is going to switch sides once again. Okay, now let's keep it moving. Okay, so after the guys are kick, your opponent is gonna switch sides once again. And we're gonna hit him with the rising water. They're back to one. 
it's gonna be something simple just like that so let's practice going from deadly tsunami into the geyser kick into the rising water and unlike the geyser palm you won't have to do because this move it reaches for uh a little bit so you won't have to do a dash forward if you are then you're doing it too late so let's practice going from the geyser kick into the rising water Looks just like that. Let's look at that one more time. Now let's practice going from Deadly Tsunami into the Geyser Kick into the Rising Water. Just like that. Let's look at that one more time. Now let's practice all the way from Let's Go Crazy to the Geyser Palm to Deadly Tsunami Geyser Kick Amplified. All the way down to the rising water. You guys see right then, I misjudged it, but it was too low. So he could have, if I missed like right then, you guys just saw it, I could have been punished. But now, let's do it for real this time. Looks just like that. Let's look at that one more time. Absolutely beautiful. Now, let's keep it moving. Okay, so we're going to end this combo off with the Cater Toss or Qatar Toss. The back forward too. Looks just like that. Very, very simple. Just like that. You guys are gonna get that easy. Now let's practice going from the rising water into the cater toss. Absolutely amazing. Just like that. You guys got that all day, every day, and twice. So Sunday is now let's practice going from the guys to kick into the rising water into the cater toss. Just like that. Let's look at that one more time. Okay, now let's practice going from Deadly Tsunami all the way down to the Cater Toast. Let's look at that one more time. Okay, now let's do the entire combo from the Let's Go Crazy to the Geyser Toast to the Deadly Tsunami, to the Geyser Kick, to the Rising Water, and ending it with the Cater Toss. Let's do this. Three hundred and fourteen damage. Let's look at that one more time. And guys, that is it. That is the rain combo tutorial. I definitely have a lot more with all of the characters. Things have changed, like the new custom variations that you guys can use uh, in comeback league now and in tournaments if you enter that sort of thing. So I definitely have a lot more coming soon. Thank you all for watching. My name is Darius P. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video and would like to watch another one right now, you can do so by clicking on any one of the four boxes that you see on your screen right now. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications by hitting that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video.